we're going to talk about today the DM770, uh, which is a digital recorder um, used for either recording lectures or recording in meetings. Um, additionally, you can actually record and dictate yourself um, and then transfer that into software such as Dragon Natural Speaking, which will convert your um, voice into actual text on the screen. Um, First thing, a few things that come in the box uh, as part of the device. You get a nice little leather carrier. Um, within the uh, little uh, section, you can pop that in and you've got a nice screen to continue using it. So you can actually keep it in the carrier and keep it safe from falls and stuff. Um, it's also got a nice little belt holder or for on a, a lapel as such. Um, so a good little device. Additionally, you get a lanyard for your wrist, so that can go over your wrist. Um, great if um, you're clumsy, a bit like myself, that will pop in through the bottom there and basically hold the device if you accidentally drop it. So good for if you're a little bit clumsy. Um, the last item you get with it, uh, apart from the battery, which I'll show later, is um, the extension to uh, basically transfer the data into a computer or to actually uh, power the battery, so charging up the battery. Uh, and that's because uh, down the side here, we've got a little slider for USB. The older versions of these used to have a slot and you would slot a USB into it. The newer versions have a slider. Um, basically, this is designed so that if you plug this into a computer, you could actually snap it. So by pop popping this on, put that into the computer, you're stopping it being broken. So uh, a clever little option there. Um, so I'll run through um, a few of the sections on the device. So we've just seen the little USB and the lanyard. Uh, down the side, we've got the slider for the USB. Then we've got a on hold button, which if you pop up, it puts the device on hold and no matter what you press, you won't record anybody. Great for when you're traveling around. And then basically we switch that off and the device will come on if we push down. Okay, so we've got on, 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 on off um, by pushing up and down on that button. Um, when the device comes on, it'll ask you initially to set it up. Um, so it's an NIMH battery. Uh, it's going to ask us for date and time. I'm going to skip through that just for the demonstration. Um, it will ask if we want voice guidance, which is for somebody visually impaired or English as a second language. Um, then we're basically into the standard menus. Uh, I'm going to explain the rest of the controls before we go into those. Along the top, we've got microphones. Um, so basically, we've got sound cancelling microphones. Uh, those are great for dictation and great for small meetings, not the best for lectures. So we always recommend uh, plugging into the device a zoom microphone. Um, so you pop that into the side and that will basically zoom into the distance and record a lecture perfectly. Um, so down that side, we've got that option of a microphone. We've also got a headset option, so we can plug an headset in and listen to the device so we can be listening back to recording that we've done. Um, and then basically along the back, we've got the options to open the battery, which we already said is an NIMH battery. That's a rechargeable one that you get with the device. Uh, nice little holder though, so you can't accidentally open it, so you have to press the button. We've also got a little socket to actually stand the device with a little um, separately bought stand. Um, so we can have it stood up um, and you know, recording from us rather than holding it to our face. So to explain the buttons on the front and the other features, uh, we've got a nice screen to show us where we are, what recording we're up to, if it's actually recording, etc., which I'll go into in a moment. Uh, then we've got function buttons. We've got function one and function two. Again, I'll go into them in more detail in a moment. And then we've got the menu button. Under those, we've got the stop button, which stops the recordings. Um, and we've also got the record button. Um, the record will just record as, as soon as you press the button. You'll also get a little light. You'll hear a beep, as with that beep on the menus on. If we press record again, it's a record pause. That basically um, keeps the device um, paused in that actual audio file. If we press it again, it records, but it continues in the same audio file. So we're not separating the file. If we press stop and then record again, it becomes a separate, for, a separate audio file and will be separate from it when you actually transfer it. Um, then we've got the navigation buttons underneath. We've got volume up and down, which is usable when you're not in a menu. And then we've got basically left and right, speed up, slow down, skip to the next index mark, etc., etc. Okay, so under there is the erase button. We press erase, we've got the option to erase um, a file or all in the folder. Um, it's automatically set to cancel, so you can't erase it by mistake. Um, by, by pressing the erase, once you go up to one of the others, you have to go to a different button and press um, the OK button, 
Uh, the reason for that is so you don't erase a file by mistake. Always transfer your audio to your computer and check that you've transferred it before you erase any device. You don't want to be losing any important meetings or lectures, etc. And then we've got a list button which lists um, the items and features that are going on in the device at the moment. Um, so just go into um, some of the options. If we're on record, what we get then is the option of the F2 button, which is the index button. If we press that within the recording, it actually sets an index mark. Each recording gets up to 99 index markers, um, and those markers will appear in the audio, so you can actually skip to index marks. Um, they'll actually come up in the software, um, so you can actually see the index marks and skip to them or cut the device around. Or they could just be important things that are going on within the meeting. You've got to remember that, or within the lecture, that's an important thing that you've got to make sure you cover um, in your, you know, so your studies. Um, so all of those will actually appear as little markers within the audio. So we'll just stop the recording there. Um, what we've also then got is the other function button is a folder button. So you'll see up in the top left hand corner, you've got a folder. If we press the function button, it'll change the folder that you're in. And as you can see, I've got no audio in any of the folders until I go back to the folder that I was originally in. And when I have audio, you'll see the numbers across the top. And that basically shows you that we've got audio within that file and we can play that back, listen to it, transfer it, etc. Um, and then basically the last features are within the menu and we use the navigation buttons down here to navigate. Uh, if we go right, we go actually into that function and we can then change. The first one is uh, the audio setting. We've got it on auto at the moment. Then we've got the option of lecture theatre. It's always wise to choose that. If you're in a lecture, it's better than the auto. Then we've got uh, conference, so large meetings. And then we've got small meeting rooms, um, similar size to this one. Uh, then we've got basically um, dictation mode, so I would be recording to my face. And then we've got manual mode, so we can actually um, swap and change around. And then back to auto. Um, generally people keep it set on auto unless you're in a lecture theatre. Um, next section is basically uh, time to record. Uh, here we've got three options to set different times where we can record, so we can have it five minutes, ten minutes, etc. So we know a lecture is going to start in ten minutes' time, we can have it auto recorded within that time, and that way we don't have to remember to switch the record button on. So a good little feature there for remembering. And then basically the next one we've got is basically um, the option of um, the audio. So we've got voice playback, uh, we've got noise cancel, we've got the voice balance. Um, the play mode and play speed, pretty much all self-explanatory in those. Next section is um, we can do voice detect, so that will detect if I speak to say start recording, it'll detect that and start recording. Uh, we can do file lock, so we can lock a file so we have to unlock that file before we can erase it by mistake. Um, and then we've got basically file divide, so we can actually split up files, so the audio sessions will be split up, so we can actually edit it within the device. And then basically the next section, uh, we've got voice guide, which will guide you around the device. I mentioned that earlier um, with the voice guidance that's been developed with the RNIB. So if you're uh, completely blind, you can actually use the device by just hearing the voice. Uh, we've got a beep option, which I've got switched on at the moment. As I go through the menus, you'll hear the beep. Um, we've got invert colors, so we can invert the color. So at the moment we're white on black, we can switch it to black on white. Um, we've got backlight switch on, off, have it auto switch off after 5-10 minutes, uh, that helps save battery. And then we've got the LED options, the LED on the device, we can actually have it switched off all the time. Uh, useful to keep that on so we know when we're recording and stuff. And then basically the last one is um, on the device itself, so we've got battery type, we've already set that to, to, to the NIMH. Um, we've got time and date, so we can alter the time and date if it's wrong. Often that changes if you put a new battery in. Um, we've got USB settings, so though we can choose when it will actually charge the device when we plug it in. So we can make sure when we plug it into a power device or in a wall socket, it's going to charge the device. If it goes into a computer, we can say don't charge it because we just want to transfer data. Or we can have it charging, but well, you can't transfer data while it's charging. Then we've got basically reset settings, so everything within the device will be reset. Um, so anything I've changed, like the voice and stuff like that, will all be reset. And then format would, will format the device completely. Um, the 8 gigabyte of storage will all be formatted. And you would need to go into individual files to delete the audio recordings as well. And that's pretty much the DM770. 
Um, these devices are great, like I've said, for recording lectures, recording in meetings, um, great for dictation into products like Dragon. Uh, we have them available at Two Health Limited, so you can get them on our website, um, or you can basically email us or call us. And um, yeah, if you need to know any more features, do get in touch.